Skippy John Jones in the doghouse. Between the hours of 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., Skippy John Jones created the finest piece of artwork ever. It went up and down and all around the newly painted hall, and this robbed his mama's fur the wrong way. Drop that crayon right now, Mr. Doodlepaws, commanded Mama Junebug Jones. You're not the boss of me, said the Skippy John Jones. In your dreams, Mr. Beans, said the Mama. I cannot believe that in two quiet hours you covered the walls with these cockeyed chihuahuas, she scolded. You are not a chihuahua, you are a naughty Siamese cat, and you need to take a time out to think about that. The kitty boy did not budge. But Junebug could be very persuasive. If you think more like a cat, she said, Mama will catch you a mouse big and fat. I'll dip it in butter and roll it in cheese. All you must do is think Siamese. And stay out of your closet or you'll really be in the doghouse, she added, putting him in his room. In fact, Skippy John Jones was thinking before Mama Junebug Jones even left. He was thinking of bouncing. Doghouse, repeated Skippy John Jones, beginning to bounce. First he bounced high, then he bounced low, pointing his rear at the chair down below. Everybody knows, from my big ears to my toes, I'm not a Sammy's cat, I'm Skippy John Jones, a chihuahua to my bones, and that's what I think about that. But he missed the chair and went careening into a pile of stuffed animals. Holy jalapeno! exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling a bird from his ear. The little bird says there's a bobolito in the doghouse. Quicker than you can say, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, the kitty boy climbed into a mask and cape. Then, using his very best a Spanish accent, he began to sing. Oh, my name is Skippito Fresquito, clap, clap. And I heard from a little birdito, clap, clap. The doggies have fled in the gobbling head, who goes by the name of Bobolito, clap, clap. Down the hall, Mama and the girls squeezed together on the couch for a little TV. Can Skippy John watch Quiz Kitties with us? asked Jelebu. Not right now, Pigeon Poof, answered Momo. Skipper Doodle has some serious Siamese thinking to do. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was thinking Chihuahua. Quiet as a cotton ball, Skepito rolled into the closet. He blew past a boulder, chugged up a hill, and arrived alongside a shack perch too bone shy of the end of the world. Where the heckito am I? wondered Skepito aloud. The place bloomed and sniffed noses. Who wants to know? growled a voice from inside. It is I, El Skepito Fresquito, the great sword fighter, the great bombolito eater, the great fly defeater, the great spider biter, the great poco perito of all, said Skepito. Suddenly, a rope cut the air with a snapito and wrapped around his paw. Whoa, said Skepito as he flew under the curtain and into the shack. The house was shock full of chihuahuas. They were cavorting in the cupboards and splashing in the sink. They were chilling in the ice cube trays and melting into drinks. And sitting right in the middle of the mayhem were his old amigos, Los Chimichangos. Hola, Skepito! Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, grinned. We have been waiting for you, dude. Si, Skepito, said Poquito Tito. Yesterday morning we left the house to buy some beans, and the night when we returned, a bobolito was in La Casa Perito. Not in a little doghouse, exclaimed Scapito. Uh-huh, said Poquito Tito. He's a fanatica, and so dramatica, and he bobbles and nods in oratica. He must be a pain in the sciatica, said Scapito. 
He is a yes man, added Don Diego. And then all the doggies nodded. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. A jumbelito pain, agreed Poquito, Dotito. And you are just what the doctor ordered. This made the Puchitos feel so good they began to sing and dance. First you turn the music way up loud, then you nod your head up and down, while your loco tail back and forth to the chimichanga and the cha-cha-cha. Stop it! You are killing me, dudes, said Skepito. Enough of the monkey business, said Poquito Tito, as he pulled Skepito outside and over to a giant tortilla. Lie down and close your eyes, ordered Paquito Tito. Por qué? asked Skepito nervously. Because, dude, said Poquito Tito, at five o'clock, Abuelo Crispito will spill the frijoles. Not the beans again, said Skepito. At Cinco Bells, a chihuahua as old as Matazuma popped out of the holy boulder and Patui brought forth three beans. It's a three-beaner, declared the peritos. Then they rolled Skepito into a three-bean burrito. Now we are sure to have good luck. Then the burrito was packed onto the skateboard with the rest of the panchitos, and together they rolled over the cliff onto the valley of the dogs, singing as they went, Yes, sir, is a rito, clap, clap. He is the return of our boy, Escapito, clap, clap. A bird in his ear said we're needing him here, and kaboom, do the big bobolito, clap, clap. Los chimichangos and the burrito blew into the town of Pato, Pato Ganso, faster than a flea on a flying furball. To the right of the square stood La Casa Perito. Mira, Scapito, howled Don Diego. The nodding Bobelito is up in the Atica, but Scapito was too scared to look. The Peritos did not give a hootito about Scapito's jitters. They just wanted the Bobelito out, and he was the dog for the job. With one big flourish, the Peritos unrolled the tortilla and tossed the kitty boy and the beans up, up, up into the air until it landed on the roof of the doghouse. Go get him, Scapito, cried the Panchitos. Oh, Mamalita, cried Scapito, catching a glimpse of the hulking shadow of the Bobalito. Oingy boingy bouncy pointsy, Skepito flashed his naughty monkey eyes and lounged straight into the head of the babelito. Yee-haito, hollered Skepito, as he took the ride of his life, and in no time flat the kitty boy brought that babelito right down to size. Faster than you can say, chili chewing chihuahuas. He grabbed a itsy bitsy bubbleito and stuffed them in his pants. Lickety splickety rickety tickety, Skipito rode the railing all the way down to the front door, and he bounced into the good night air, landing right in the middle of the fluffy white tortilla. Los chimichangos rolled Skepito up, snug as a bog, and began to chant, Muchas gracias, Skepito dipito dango, by bobelito, boogie woogie dango, muchas puchas licky ticky cozo bozo chimichimichango. One more time, it was so good. Muchas gracias, Skippy Dippy Dango. Bye, Bobolito, Boogie Woogie Tango. Muchas puches, Licky Ticky Mango. Gozo Bozo, Chimichongi Chango. And they carried the Porito all the way back to his room. With Queez Kitties over, Mama Junebug directed her ears toward Skippy Jones, very quiet room. Hmm, mused Momo. I wonder what he's up to. She told the girls to go and take a peek. He's all wrapped up in his old white blankie, said Jezebel. And he's talking to my itty bitty kitty Bobalita, said Jujubi. Maybe he's thinking Siamese at a jilebu. Really? asked Mama. Oh, he's such a little crumb cake. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was still thinking Chihuahua. Do you like mice and beans, Skippy John? asked the bobblehead. 
Then he touched the itsy bitsy kitty's nose with the tip of his blanket. The bobolito just nodded. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Me too, said Skippy John Jones.